morning everyone i'm starting the weekly vlog or not weekly vlog this week's first day vlog oh my gosh okay i'm starting today's vlog a bit later than normal i think i did film a little clip of bailey lying on his new bed and that's about it uh, i was actually bought for code of that bed <clears throat> now i did vlog on sunday and when i look back at the clips yesterday i only had two clips so i'm going to include them for you here and then we'll get started with monday's vlog Good morning everyone and I can still say morning because it's about quarter to 12 <laughs> it's still morning but yeah I've been up since I don't know six o'clock or something just not having a great day today and I wasn't going to vlog because obviously I really haven't done anything besides sit on the couch this morning I did have some breakfast had wheat bix and a banana for breakfast got Kevin some wheat bix and banana for breakfast had numerous cups of tea done the dishwasher a little bit of tidying up a little bit of washing up but that's about it <laughs> kevin and athena have headed out for us to run, to run some errands Athena want to go to the pet shop and i've asked them to try and get a, a bed a bigger bed to have in the lounge room for coda and bailey to play in and sleep in um well the old one that is well and truly our grown um and then i'm going to go into the source shop and get a whole lot of stuff for us in there uh, we had planned to go out today, but obviously I wasn't up to it and Christy just wanted to stay home and have a jammy day So hopefully that will happen tomorrow But yeah, I'm glad I decided against today because I'm just not feeling great very achy Headache on and off, but my body's just very very sore today. I don't know why like now as I talk to you my teeth are hurting I don't know yesterday was so good. Anyway, I thought I would vlog because i thought well if we go out tomorrow and i also can then show you what we get from the source because they're doing quite a big shop from the source and they're pretty much getting everything that we actually buy from the source we're pretty much out of everything i don't i was just trying to think i don't think i can't think of anything besides brown rice because kevin bought three big bags at costco so it's the only thing i know we didn't need to get from the source today so i can show that to you when they come home and if i'm feeling better later on i'm gonna get out and get my groceries but it's probably a bit of a big ask <laughs> since I'm still my jammies and it's nearly midday but we will see and I think we're gonna I've just I'm actually just cooking some quinoa at the moment uh, to have for lunch and make up I cooked some zucchini balls that Athena had made out the mixture for the other day so we can use them up because I just try and make sure we use up the food that's already cooked in the in, in the fridge so have them and um, I might make a little salad or something to go with it. There's some mashed potatoes Christy can have. So make sure we use up our food that we've already bought and paid for. And um, yeah. And I think I want to watch a documentary at lunch. I don't know what, but we'll um, watch something. So yeah, and that's the morning. Hard to bear. Kevin and Athena have <laughs> There you go. Where Bailey? Bailey doesn't get one. I, to I said she would say that. Oh, Bailey's waiting for oh, his. Second. But Bailey's waiting for his toy. Oh, Daddy. Oh, oh my gosh. I know. I told you to put something for Fuzzy. Oh, Fuzzy. Rude. Oh, yeah. Play with, play with, yeah. Play together. <laughs> Do you see the spider that I got, Ma? Oh, Crap. Oh yeah. It's the Halloween. They had Halloween toys. Cute. This one's cute. I thought it was cute too. Good. Okay, Bailey, you can have it for now, but it's coders. Okay, he's so. <laughs> old. All from the source shop into the bulk food shop in case you can't tell from the look at it. So then I've got some dried apple to try and some pasta. So we haven't tried either of them before. That was dried cherries, no cranberries. cranberries. Some um, coconut. We've got some red kidney beans, chickpeas. No, there's soybeans, chickpeas, and black beans that are all dried that we will cook up and put in the freezer. Chia seeds, um, split peas, almonds that we use for um, milk and for obviously other stuff as well. Lots of peanut butter. Kevin got a bit carried away. <laughs> peanut butter. Um, some treat stuff for Christy that's um, like chocolate honeycomb, and Kevin got, I think it was chocolate and coconut. So that's there's. Lots of dried mango, which is super expensive, but very nice. Um, hello. <laughs> we have a little visitor. <laughs> we 
You can smell lots of stuff. What can you smell? Oh, it's more chocolate. But you don't need chocolate coda. <laughs> oh my god, just come standing up. It's so funny when he stands right up. Uh, cashews. And then we've got lots of rolled oats, lots of red lentils, lots of yeast flakes, lots and lots and lots of quinoa, <laughs> and some hemp seeds. So, gotta try and fill them to my jars. I know there's some of these will need more than the jar that they come in because there's more there than what I was expecting. But it's all stuff we'll get through. So, that was obviously quite expensive, that big shop, but it will last. Some of the things will last a long time and some won't. I'm just going to show you Thea in the middle of a big food prep session. <laughs> I'm kind of bringing it to a close now. <laughs> yeah, you have. You put Pedro Love away, haven't you? Oh, no, it's in the oven, the pasta bake, and then this is Coda's dinner yeah. for, for, for a couple of weeks. Fry. I'm probably going to make something else, but I don't know what else I'm going to make yet. Yeah. Because I've got four stuff. And that's soybeans we're going to cook tomorrow in the yeah. they, I just pressure cooker. Yeah, I just cook them because that's what Coda has in his dinner. Yeah. We do it, try and do it with all that dried stuff, freeze them, cook them and freeze them. Then we can use them instead of tins. So I've got the chickpeas, red kidney beans and black beans to to do, but I'll do them on Monday. But yeah, these has been very busy. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that. I have to try and stop doing that. I really thought, I knew I didn't have a lot, but I thought I had more than two clips for Sunday, for Saturday. That was Saturday. Anyway, um, I'm feeling better today. I had a really bad weekend and wasn't up to going out on Sunday. So I spent pretty much the whole week, well, I did spend the whole weekend in my pajamas, pretty much on the couch. I'd come good late afternoon and I'd get a few things done then. Yesterday we did an online grocery haul and Kevin went and picked it up about four o'clock. So when he got home, I was able to unpack that. Got dinner made, made some overnight oats and the almond milk and stuff like that. So I like to get little things done late in the day, including washing up the kitchen. So I will show you the kitchen in a moment. <laughs> It's not pretty at the moment. It needs some work. So the goals for today are to take the dogs on a walk of some length and do some stretching. I need to get back into some stretching or some yoga. Don't care what time I do, I do that. It can be later on, whatever. I need to try and do that. And besides the normal things like clean out the kitchen, do the dishwasher and washing and stuff, I want to do a bit of food prep. And I need to do a bit of food prep because we got the groceries yesterday, so into that but things I haven't done a menu plan yet so I also need to do that today because I ended up like about half an hour before the online groceries closed decided that's what we're going to do because I'm not up to getting, getting groceries so we'll do an online order in case I'm no good today and I'm still not 100% sure about today <laughs> whether I would have been capable of doing a grocery haul we'll, we'll see forget for the walk I would have been able to do a grocery haul but a grocery shop but anyway, we did the online one so it was safe and we were set for the week and that, but I didn't have my menu plan. So I've got to do a menu plan based on what I bought now, what I have. Which isn't sometimes a bad way to do things because we kind of knew what we needed. And I guess any little things that we need, any extras, we can just pick up at a local shop. So that's where we are today anyway. I am wearing long sleeves. I'm really hot now because I just had my shower. But it's pretty cold. I think once I... Last time I looked it was 11 degrees and that's, that's a cold for us. <laughs> and the last time, yeah, so I think once I cool down, I'll be okay. But the last time, I was actually going to throw this top. I thought it wasn't, I thought it was too short and I thought, I'm going to pop it on. To, I thought it shrunk and I still think it has shrunk a bit. I'm sure it was longer than it is. And um, I was just going to like donate it. And I thought I will try it on and just to see. And I've only lost, like, I've lost, like, two kilos, which is, like, four and a half pounds, which is not much. But it's just enough that this is fitting a lot better, and the length looks about right. So, well, it's not as long as it was, but it's okay. It's an acceptable length. I don't wear real short tops. Because <laughs> my lower tummy area is my worst area. So I like to cover it up as much as I can. <laughs> so, breakfast, I'm going to have that overnight oats and get the dishwasher done. Get the kitchen tidy. Now show the kitchen now. So yeah, I've got some things over there from the groceries to put away. I think Christy left this out. That was nice of her. And then Kevin bought a tea cake yesterday, which I did not want to eat because I said to him, I've been trying really hard to eat really well. And it's not even a tea cake that I particularly like. He thought it was, but I like the ones from the supermarket. That's the one from Baker's Delight. Um, so he's had some and I thought he was going to take it for work today but he didn't he did say it was only $3 because at the end of the day stuff I'm just getting rid of it 
But anyway, um, so those bags over there have got two cauliflower and two broccoli, which I need to take care of today. Lids and stuff to go away. When I was emptying the dish, when I was putting some washing up away, I just said to Kevin, just put it there because he never knows where everything goes. Pressure cooker's out because I need to cook the chickpeas and the red kidney beans that are soaking in the other fridge. Got some fruit to wash and put away and obviously dishes to put away. And then we keep going around and we've got <laughs> these Wakoda's well, brushes for some reason are there. The plastic bags that our groceries came in. Now they are like they're made from recycled, other recycled plastic and I believe they can be recycled as well, but I'm going to use these for donate stuff because they're a bit stronger. Yeah, made from at least 80% recycled plastic, so we'll at least give them a bit more life. Um, and then I've got a yeah, receipt and my folder and my menu plan book, which I need to use. And then some of Nan's containers, that was Joe's water, I think, and some, they picked up these bamboo tissues thinking I would like that <laughs> um, so they got those yesterday um, for me to, I'll put them in the bathroom and I don't know if, I, if you remember me mentioning that we were trying to get these chairs covered and they just stuffed around it was like months ago now we took the material in and this hasn't been done she has done a pattern apparently now or something, we've got everything back. And I'm glad Kevin went back and got our material and he got most of the money back because that's my lovely Whole, Food Whole Foods bag that I love. So glad to get that back. I didn't know I used that one to take the material in. So yeah, a bit of tidying up. My desk over there is still fairly tidy now with my little box over there to corral everything. And we have some puppies. And obviously picking up in here. Um, I can't remember if we videoed the new dog bed that we got and Bailey loves it as you saw this morning he can fit in it so he thinks it's wonderful and obviously I've got dog toys to pick up blankets to put away just a bit of tidying up and my new flamingo pillow I don't know if you saw that either they got that for me um, when they're out on Saturday as well so that's really nice that's a nice like it's a soft one so if I got that I probably wouldn't have needed this one but <laughs> it's okay um, yeah, that sort of goes there, and then I've got my more tropical ones down there. And it's yeah, tidy up, tidy up Coda's treasures that he's left around. And then Thee always leaves stuff around, so tidy their stuff up. Yeah. So I hope you all had a, a good weekend. I didn't, <laughs> but fibro life. I'm hoping that. That was my bad weekend because this coming weekend we are heading down to Canberra to go to the Uni Open Day down there. We went a few years ago and even though they won't be going next year to ANU, she just wants to go and have a look at the courses because she's sort of changed her interest a little bit from going to the UOW, University of Wollongong Open Day. But she wants to go and see what Canberra have that's sort of comparable to now her new interests, which are more international studies I think she's looking at doing, but like from a humanitarian point of view which I think is just awesome <laughs> she still obviously wants to do her languages so she's still looking at doing a double degree with her languages so it's good I mean how awesome if you can like do something to help the world that needs a lot of help <laughs> so I'll be incredibly proud, proud of my kids that's the sort of field they go into something that helps people or helps a planet helps something besides themselves <laughs> anyway um yeah, I'll go have my brekkie and we'll try and get on with things. I'm thinking I'm just going to walk the dogs around the block today. But it's just trying to wait for it to warm up a little bit because it's pretty chilly. And it's very windy and the wind's cold. And I don't know what to wear. Like, I do not know how to dress for cold weather. Because it's, I'm sweating now. So how do I dress? Because I'm going to get, like, the sweat, I'm going to get cold. I'll put a beanie on, I'm probably going to get too hot. I just don't know how to dress so I think we'll just do a shorter walk rather than go right down to the point where it's more exposed down there obviously you get the wind a lot more wind than if I just walk around the block here um the dogs won't care they'll be happy to get out because I haven't been out for a few days um so yeah I'll try and film more I'll try and do that for you guys and I forgot to share probably the best news so I'm putting a jar on a lid putting it on the wrong putting a lid on a jar putting it on the wrong jar um, Christy has decided that she wants to do some, she wants a job. And I said, 
really probably the best paying job you're going to get is cleaning my house <laughs> and doing jobs here and you can do it in your own time when it suits you so she's decided she wants to do that so she wants to do it two hours work a day so she's going to be cleaning my house again so that'll be great because that will really free me up to do decluttering and minim minim minimizing of the home and um, that will be so good. I, mean, I might have to help it no, in the afternoon. I can't really help, but uh, it'll be so good. I don't really honestly expect it to continue beyond a few weeks. Be very surprised if it does, because Christy's a bit like that. She does start things and often doesn't continue. But <laughs> she's decided she's been spending a bit of money and she wants some more money, so that's fine. Um, so this is just to buy, like, she buys artwork and things like that. Like, we pay for most things, but those sort of, like, personalised very very non-essential things <laughs> she's by herself and her money's gone down quite a bit so she had a lot of money and it's gone down so she wants some more which is fine she can earn it um so yeah that would be very good so <laughs> i probably won't really see much advantage today i'm going to get her to clean that downstairs this afternoon um but we get, and i'll also get the extra things done like outside and the front door and the um staircase the stairwell thing uh, Banished up. <laughs> things, all these things I see, I think they sound, they sound, I never get to it, you know, so that would be so good. So, so if we're gonna get a few weeks out of it and get the house like properly clean, that'll be awesome. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, as I said, I can concentrate on other stuff and, and exercise. That's why I'm trying to get the walk and the stretching back in because if I don't have to clean, I should have the energy to do that because sorting most things, a lot of that stuff sort of a sit down job or not so strenuous as cleaning is for me I don't find anyway so that's the plan that's the hope <laughs> so I need to really like take advantage why I have that help and then see if it lasts that's great I can work out what else I'm going to do with this free time that I'm going to have but um, in the meantime I need to take advantage and not just squander the few weeks away that I expect to get out of it I'm sorry, my glasses are all dark from being out and I think I look pretty horrible today, but anyway. Um, I have got the f first load of my bedding out. I've done the sheets are out and the pillow slips and then the quilt cover still on. I've got a tripod in my hand to try and film a bit for you, but I don't know what I was going to say. I'm learning, I'm trying harder and I'm learning as I'm going, I guess. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't, but I just want to tidy up this room and then move into the kitchen which is where I'll be spending most of the day if I continue to feel okay.
been hung out the washing. Saw all the food prep that I've done so far. The what have I got in the chickpeas? I'm uh, really just going to depressurize now. Then I can rinse them off and start the red kidney beans. I um yeah, you saw everything else. I'm just now going to go and have some hummus that I made the other day with um, carrot and cucumber. These were the only cucumbers that they had from the supermarket yesterday. So, and there's the hummus. I won't obviously eat all that. <laughs> I didn't know I was getting. You know, it's quarter to twelve now. I don't know what time I started, but I do need to go and have a rest. My feet are sore, feeling tired, and if I need, don't want to burn out, <laughs> I need to go and rest up. We certainly well over like 40 45 minutes because the washing had finished so i've been on my feet probably maybe an hour which is getting towards my limit at one time so we'll go have a rest have this come back and do a bit more and then it'll probably time for lunch don't know what's happening with the dogs but still not this <laughs> i did just remember i've got to go and pick christy i've got to leave her at one o'clock to pick christy up and take her to a psychologist so um that's like in just over an hour. So, besides my Jewish oven, the pressure cooker, because I've also got to cook the dog's dinner in there as well. And obviously, I don't want that on when I'm out. So, hopefully, I can change this lot over, get the beans cooked before I go, and then when I come back, it's not going to be like nearly three o'clock. <laughs> um, I will um, cook the dog's dinner. Oh, I'd like to do that earlier. I might do that next, actually. Um, oh, actually, I'm just thinking, I might not even make up the dinner. I've got, mm, I might actually write some veggies for them and add some beans this week because I'm probably have leftover beans. So, whatever, I'll cook up whatever I need to do for them. I'm so hot and sweaty. <laughs> Should have put a t shirt on. Can't win. I mean, it's I think it's 14 degrees. It's supposed to be cold, but I don't feel cold. I'm going to go pick up Christy. Not too much longer. Not too much longer. Only a few more weeks. <laughs> Hopefully. That's the chickpeas are done. I tell you. If you've never made your own chickpeas and you've got a pressure cooker, highly recommend you do it. You can do it on the stove too and boil them, but I've not done that. So, but I tell you, they are so much better than the tinned ones. They're just so good. And they make the hummus so much better. Now I just. It's about one and a half cups per tin, so I'll just bag up some as one tin of um, of chickpeas, and I'll do some as two tins because I think I've got some recipes that take two tins. Now I can't think what, but I'm pretty sure I have. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> I know for like black beans and stuff, I do. Well, I definitely haven't made the progress I'd hoped to make today with my food prep. I have to get finished when I get back, obviously. I still got half an hour. Um. So I'll see what I can do. I'm gonna put some potatoes in the air fryer and I can just take with them, take them with me for lunch with some sauce, that will be fine. Or just maybe I'm playing today, though they're nice with ketchup as well. They'll probably take some ketchup. And I can have them while I wait, because I said I can have you at three o'clock. And last time I had lunch at three o'clock when I got home, but so I'm not at all hungry now. But by two o'clock, I'm probably happy to eat. So <laughs> I'll get them cooked so I can take them with me. Well, forgot to do the camera, even though I have that sitting right there. What did I do then? I did wash the strawberries. Um, I think I did something else. What did I do? I don't know. I think I just filled around. But I was here for 20 minutes. I must have done something else. I cleaned out the fridge. So I've got some tofu. Although really big tofu blocks that they had the other day I don't think it's probably any good for human consumption now so that and some TVP and some old cabbage will go for the doggies in there you know and it's it is cooking in there now okay so strawberries took a while and I packed up my lunch so I've got some potato and some sauce and I've got some water in there and I think I was just playing around the kitchen just organizing stuff oh that's right yeah I put the cauliflower one cauliflower one broccoli in containers, and the others I'm going to make into the soup. Um, I think I'm going to cook that pasta for Kevin's lunch for the next day or two, because I haven't got any um, to put on a sandwich for him. So, yeah, I don't. I feel like I did something else. 
quite, I don't know what. So no, it mustn't be anything else. I don't know. Don't know. <laughs> Coda. You keep trying to grab the glasses and the jars down there. All right. Um, I've still got. Yeah, I'm going to get sorted to go actually and head off to pick up Christy. Okay. Excuse my very messy fiber writing. <laughs> um. So I've done some things. So I've got some things ticked, some things half ticked. So the chickpeas are actually done. I can tick them off as well. I'll cross them off as I do. And I've still got to bag them up. So, made some progress. Hi, Papa. Hi, darling. Okay, dropped Christy at her appointment. It's a much nicer day today. And I'm going to have my potatoes. And I've bought my iPad, which I've got a book to read on them for travel for our trip and my trip planning book as well so I can write down any notes that I need to make so I'll get all that I'm sitting here got the nice sky again it's a very nice day it's just a bit fresh I am back home again I don't feel the best now that my stomach's gone stupid and I've got my headache back I sort of had like a weekend but I guess I can't complain because up until now I felt pretty good. So I'm actually just going to tidy up. So because the kitchen's quite a mess, Chrissy's going to clean upstairs today and do downstairs tomorrow. So, but I need to deal with this stuff. Happy to report I'm feeling a good bit better and quite rested now. Didn't really feel like getting up and doing any more stuff, but I will. I've um. Got the dog's dinners, two of them ready to put in the fridge, the other one they're obviously going to have tonight. I'm just boiling up some water now and I'm going to cook this veggie pasta dish. They'll do Kevin for the next two lunches, so I'll just add some pasta sauce to that. I did that once from before and he, he, quite, he quite enjoyed it, so makes a bit of a change from sandwiches every day. And since I haven't got anything to put on his sandwiches, <laughs> that, that's good. And so what's I've got to do? I'm still going to make this soup. And I think that's it. And then finish off the dinner stuff. And I'll be done. <laughs> so there's still some things that obviously I have to attend to tomorrow. I didn't get the melon cut up that I wanted to do. And a few other bits and pieces. But and I still have to cook the red kidney beans. Actually I should soak the black. Mm. No I've got some black beans in the freezer. I don't really need to do them yet. But um, get everything else done. And if I've got any energy I might try and make the bed. But it's really hard by myself. And my back will end up very sore so. It's probably not a sensible idea. <laughs> I'm probably to Kevin comes home, even though I know he doesn't like coming home and having to make the bed up. <laughs> it's um, that's the downside to a king bed. It is difficult to make it on your own. I mean, you can do it. It's just more difficult. And then I still back it. Probably a problem. I used to make it by myself all the time, but we'll see. <laughs> there were no quantities, so I had to guess myself. <laughs> I think I wrote, I wrote down. Gosh, off someone's. YouTube. Don't speak Japanese or I think it was Japanese or some Asian language. So I could not answer that phone call. Just one of those ones that's pre-recorded or whatever. I'm getting a few of them lately. I had a run but it's the top but maybe they're going to start again now. So yeah I think the soup's quite nice. Um, I might even have a, a mm, if I have a small bowl of prawn on my dinner so I might wait that might be lunch tomorrow. And I still got to do the washing up and that's me kind of done just quickly showing you our dinners well that's Kevin with cheese and mine with the yeast flakes and I think it's got the vegan pizza cheese and we've just got country grain casserole and we're gonna go have our family dinner and then watch some telly